I feel like I'm completely alone. I need help. I, I can't do this alone. Great. Boy, I thought my life was bad before. This is as bad as it gets. Why didn't I just see that? So you don't know what to do. I was really scared. Soon after the latest attack, Kathy goes to pick up her son from school. She is exhausted and hopes the worst is over. It's not. When I'm sitting in that car. Something's pressing on your head and you can't see it. And you can't speak. <laughs> And it takes your head and it twists it in a very unnatural position. Like it's gonna take your neck and snap it. Your head twists that way. And you feel something right here and you can't get your words out. It is the most screwed up feeling I've ever had in my life. Something is trying to kill you. I started to say the Our Father and I couldn't get the Our Father out. I was walking her to school, from summer school, and she was in a weird position. <laughs> Mom? <laughs> it looked very unnatural, very unnatural, to the point where I was like, it was, I knew it was forced upon her. <laughs> I said, hold Mommy's hand. What is that prayer that Mommy taught you? He goes, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Say it again, say it again, say it again. <gasps> Jesus, God in heaven, what just happened to me? I was worried about what's going on with her, and she wouldn't tell me. Michael, something's trying to hurt me, baby. I can't see it, but it's there. No. To Kathy's horror, she learns that her son has been experiencing supernatural events as well. I was in my bed. I was just listening to music. And the pull, pull it to my back back, or pull it all the way back. You see it stretching. It literally flew across the room. And it landed on the floor right next to you. When Michael finally came forth with some of the things that had happened to him, I was upset. I felt like I was a bad mother. I'm so sorry. I let something get near my son. He couldn't come to me. It's okay, Mom. I did not defend my son. That's not a good feeling. I don't know, Kathy. Maybe this thing is in your head. All in my head? Nice. It's happening to Michael, too. You can't keep ignoring this. I am not ignoring it. But I can't believe something just because you want me to. We don't have to try so hard not to believe it. My son's safety is at stake here. He's scared, okay? I believe that. But that does not mean there are ghosts in the house. Kathy's personality turned 180, 180 degrees. She was very desperate to have anyone and everyone believe her uh, because she was scared. Whatever was going on, you're there for your spouse, for better, for worse, richer and poorer, sickness and in health. That was not happening and I felt it. Oh, Kathy, I am so tired of hearing about this all the time. I don't know what is going on, and I can't do anything about it. I just want everything to go back to normal. So do I. 
I just don't have that option.